This is the dough fruit, and I'm going to be putting it up against the most expensive fruit in the game, the leopard fruit. Both are spammy and insanely good at PvP. So let's look over at the price. Dough fruit costs 2.8 million bellies, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you buy it with belly, you lose it when you switch fruits. So if you want it for permanent use, it's going to cost you 2,400 robux or 30 US dollars. And fun fact, this is what most Americans make an hour at their jobs. But what about the leopard fruit? 5 million bellies for single use, but if you want permanent use, you're looking at 3,000 Robux, which translates to $37.50 in US dollars. So, uh, go get that college degree. But how does it perform when grinding? Unawakened dough is really bad, but boy, once you awaken this bad boy, this is one of the best fruits in the game. And the devs know this. Because the dough fruit is kinda OP, you're gonna have to complete advanced raids to fully be able to awaken the fruit. After several tedious tasks, you will finally meet your match. The guy standing between you and the infinity stones. The dough king. Now you might be thinking, oh it's just another boss right? Just pop a couple combos? No. Killing the dough king is pretty much impossible alone, unless if you hack of course, or you get friends. So, but what about leopard? Do you have 3000 robux? Probably not. But if you have 3000 Robux, that's all you need for now. Rumors have it that Leopard is getting an awakening soon, so that's gonna be exciting. But in the meantime, all you really have to do is just get 300 mastery for the fruit and bada beam bada boom, you're now overpowered. So that's that. So what about player versus enemies? So the same principle goes for both Leopard and Doe Fruit. You have to awaken these fruits to be effective. But guys, you can't go into the first C, start the game off and buy a Leopard and expect to be OP. You're gonna have a basic finger revolver that's gonna do like zero damage and your stats are gonna be so weak. Honestly, these fruits aren't gonna do a lot for you when it comes to player versus his enemy. So a good rule of thumb is really saving these fruits for the second and third C as the game starts to really get interesting and you'll have a lot of opportunities to not only awaken these fruits but also get the stats and the accessories to back up these fruits as well which will now make these fruits actually worth the robux my guy. But what about PVP? Same concept. If you're in the first C why are you even PVPing bro? If, boy if you don't get, get back to dude. grinding like you're so weak right now don't make me flame you my guy you're still wearing the black kit. Get out of here you don't even have hell scarf so why are you even like bro in other words, save the PvP for the second and really the third C. Like, PvP in the third C is really where it's at. So if you want to PvP with Dole, although you'll pretty much look like you're no skill, wait until the third C, fully awaken that bad boy, and then you'll be overpowered. Now, when it comes to Leopard, assuming you've got your block shoes maxed out, your melee, is that how you say melee? Fully maxed out as well, you'll be able to do a lot of damage. Clearly, both the Leopard and the Dole fruit are some of the best fruits in the game. So if you have the money and want a fruit that requires low effort, then the Leopard fruit may be for you. Now, if you like the challenge, and want the ultimate combo fruit, I think you'll like the dough fruit. You'll have the ultimate transportation, cool looking combos, and a fruit that can be used in pretty much all situations. PvP, grinding, you name it. But listen, I became the Akinator and I try to guess people's fruit. Click on the video on the screen and help me get it to 100,000 views. If you're in a hurry, just go ahead and click the subscribe button. Until next time.